time to get throttled fully. So I wanted to do this amazing introduction with me on a motorcycle peeling out through the driveway and fire and explosions burning everywhere, but unfortunately I couldn't swing that due to the show's current budget. I did however manage to find something equally as impressive. Enjoy. LucasArts, I love you. In a platonic way, I love you. You fill my soul with ponies and thoughts of Rice Krispie treats and give me puzzles that don't make me want to set my computer on fire. And for that, I love you. It's this kind of inoffensive, young at heart humor that really... Oh, shit just got real. Full Throttle is an adventure game from the mind of Tim Schafer, released in 1995 by LucasArts. This game sets itself apart from other games in the LucasArts repertoire due to its highly adult nature. This game is all sex, drugs, and rock and roll. Actually, there isn't any sex in this game, and there's not any drugs either, unless you count the alcohol. But there are mechanical bunnies. This game is all mechanical bunnies and rock and roll, and I love me some metal and fuzzy animals. So this game was obviously made for me. You play as thick-skinned biker dude and gang leader Ben, head of the Polecats. I love his character and his gruff voice and heart in nature. Hmm. You know, Ben, we're broke. Yeah. And if some cash doesn't come our way soon, we're in big trouble. Relax. I have a feeling something's coming our way. While cruising with his gang, Ben comes into contact with a limousine, chauffeuring the last motorcycle manufacturer in the world, Malcolm Corley. Wow, that's a haircut. And Rip Berger, whose filtrum is about the length of a forearm. Ah uh, yeah, filtrum. Impressive lingo, huh? I just learned that shit today. Also, Rip Berger. There's a tasteless flatulence joke hidden in there somewhere. Anyway, Ben and his gang, in a highly cinematic cutscene, launch over the hovercraft limo, crushing the hood ornament in the process. One could say that their car got throttled. Heh. <laughs> Corley is all like, yeah, them kids are cool. So they go after the polecats to hang out and talk motorcycles. Corley is such a rich old dude, I love it. Eh, uh, you better stay out here, Rip. This place is bikers only. <laughs> Rip Burger, however, has something sinister brewing, and I swear there's a fart joke in this script just waiting to come out. Rip Burger is a huge business dickwad that needs ethos, so people will take his new idea seriously. He wants to create minivans, but bikers don't give two shits about minivans, so he suggests that Ben and his polecats join them at a shareholders meeting so they can make minivans look metal. I have a plan. And if you come to the shareholders' meeting with us, you'll find out what it is. No dice, Rip Burger. The polecats are not thugs for rent. Unfortunately, Rip Burger simply wants to use Ben and his gang for ulterior motives and ends up clocking Ben on the head and throwing him in the trash. After punching your way out of the dumpster, you head back to the bar and see that your gang has left, but quickly realizes that something is wrong when he notices the key to his bike is gone. Upon getting it back with a little help from our good friend Violence... You know what might look better on your nose? What? The bar. Ben realizes that Rip Burger is really up to no good, and it's up to Ben to find out what's going on and what Rip Burger's intentions are. On your quest to find your gang, you run into a female mechanic named Maureen, Mo for short, and I adore this snarky, take-no-bullshit character. She's up there with some of my favorite female characters in video games because she's funny, geeky, and isn't afraid to dish out some pain when she needs to. Let's rip him quick. Listen, Mo, you're making a big mistake. Oh, Ben, you're right. We shouldn't do this quickly. We should draw this out, don't you think, Susie? Hey, I got all night. Sometimes she likes you, sometimes she doesn't. She's hot and she's cold, she's yes and she's no, but at least she's nice enough to help Ben fix up his bike after the front wheel comes off while in transit. You were in an accident. A reporter found you and brought you and your bike here. My bike? What have you done with my bike? Brought it back from the dead. Sort of like what I did with you. Need a little help getting it finished, though. It's at this point where the game really takes over and you can begin figuring out inventory puzzles. The puzzles are pretty straightforward, and like most LucasArts titles, you can't really lose. The game was criticized back in the day for having puzzles that are too simple for seasoned adventurers, and also for being too short. I admit this is shorter than other games in the same genre, but for what it lacks in length, it makes up for with Filtrum. Damn, I love that word. It's also a little darker and more mature than other titles, which I genuinely appreciate. 
I love the biker and heavy metal theme going on here, and I love all the characters. The story is great too, filled with betrayal, twists, murder, and violence. Yep, you can fight biker gangs in this game. Hey, that guy looked at me funny. Fuck you, dude! There's some combat involved in the game, and there's even some driving, and as much as I like to kick random gang members off their bikes, it got old after a little while. Though I do appreciate the fact that I can level up my weapon to a frickin' morning star. That is so metal. I didn't want to give away too many spoilers in this game, but I'm sorry I'm gonna give away a spoiler. Corley bites the dust in a really gruesome but well-executed cutscene. See what I did there? Executed. Because, yeah, he died. By the hands of Rip Burger. Like, R.I.P. Burger. It all makes sense now, get it? R.I.P.? Even though some photos were snapped of the grisly homicide by a Snoopy reporter, Ben finds himself the one accused, and it becomes his mission to help Maureen find out the truth, as she is actually Corley's daughter and heir to Corley Motors and the only hope for squashing Rip Burger's lame minivan idea. By the way, I mentioned mechanical bunnies earlier. Here's one now! Isn't it so cuddly cute? Aww. These little techie bunnies serve a very important purpose. They help you find mines in the minefield, so you don't have to walk through one and watch your head rot. Go, little bunnies, go! Eye of the tiger! I feel slightly guilty about that. Let's do it again! <laughs> Eventually, Ben finds the photos of Rip Burger sending Corley to his grave, and in a scene that looks like Minority Report took inspiration from, he exposes Rip Burger during the shareholders' meeting. It's an incredibly cool, well thought out scene that leads into a badass ending with fire and explosions. But I'll let you guys discover that for yourselves. This game features the brilliant voice acting of Mark Hamill, Hamilton Camp, Tress McNeil, Kath Sosie, and Roy Conrad, who voiced Ben. Sadly, he passed away during production of one of the planned sequels. This game also featured recorded music by rock band The Gone Jackals. Songs off their album Bone to Pick were featured in this game. The music and cutscenes make me feel like a rebellious teenager again, defying my parents, getting tattoos, and blowing up mechanical bunnies. There were two sequels planned, but they never came to fruition, and judging by this weird footage with outdated graphics, I'm glad they didn't. I'm glad Full Throttle stayed a standalone game, especially with how the story ended. If there were a sequel, I would want Tim Schafer to write it. No Tim, no deal. Despite the game being a little short and having some clunky gameplay mechanics, overall I really liked it. It's a little bit more offbeat than other adventure games, and I love anything with music, violence, and motorcycles in it. Short but sweet. I give it two devil horns up. Hey you badasses, wanna join my posse? Then feel free to subscribe to my channel, or we can talk about bikes and music and bunnies on my other social venues, Twitter, Facebook, and Patreon. As always, I appreciate your comments, likes, gripes, and intellectual conversation about flatulence. See you next time.